how are we doing? I thought I'd do a little video about, about puppet eyes and different ways to make puppet eyes. So a lot of different ways. I've been experimenting with a lot of them. One of the easiest ways, of course, is just to buy little plastic pre-made eyes. This guy has plastic eyes that are pre-made. They just popped right in, glued right on. Very simple, no work at all. This young lady I have here, she's got the same thing going on, but you notice I put some eyebrows above the eyes, and they really bring her face alive, so that looks good. So that's one way, of course. This gentleman here we're looking at, you will notice, he's got nice pupils and white eyes, bushy eyebrows. Those eyes are um, actually spoons, spoons like, right here, spoons right here, and the, his are the long ones, like this one. I recently found some uh, round ones. And you, what, I do, what you do is you cut the handles off, sand them, polish them up a little bit. I use a Dremel tool to cut them. And then you put your pupils on. Now, this, this pupil right here, that is just self-adhesive felt, or and it was punched out. I use one of these little punches here. Whoops. And it will open that up. And you just put your, your felt in there. And you can punch out these really cool bra eye, eyes. I eye, eye pupils, anyways. So that can be done. This one, those that set right there, those blue ones here, these are ping pong balls, or half a ping pong ball. And then the half the ping pong ball, I've got the, uh, the little self-adhesive felt pupil. And then I put some foam. The, the eyelids are actually craft foam. And then a little more of that self-adhesive um, black velvet felt. To, to line the eyelids, so that's a half a ping pong ball. Okay, these right here, this set looks similar, but it's actually half of a styrofoam ball. You can buy these styrofoam balls, and you cut you can cut them in half to make another high half eye, and then I've stuck in the same kind of eye that my friend here has. Let me see if I, I have the set of those laying here, specifically to show you. And this is them. And they're just a little glass doll or teddy bear eye. They've got a stem. Whoops. They've got a stem. That stem goes in a hole. You can put a hole in your ping pong ball, a hole in your felt, your fleece and then there's this little bitty washer that goes on the stem and that will lock those right on there like nothing you've ever seen and those come in all different colors and once you get that washer on <laughs> you're not getting those apart so they're going to stick there we go here's that little glass eye plastic eye again looks glass this is ha these are half ping pong balls. These are ping pong balls in half. Again, with those nice glass looking eyes. Okay, we have those. Now, here are my alligator. These are actually a complete ping pong ball. It's a complete ping pong ball. The back is covered with foam. And again, I put the uh, little eyes in there. So that looks nice. I like that. The whole ping pong ball is a good eye for him. You can do the same with the styrofoam ball. You can cut them in half. This is half a styrofoam ball. Or you can leave them a hole for a big, big googly eye. These, now this is one of my first experiments. They're a little rough looking. But that's just craft foam on craft foam. And you can see it here on this fella. You wouldn't think well, craft foam on craft foam doesn't sound like a, big, a great eye for a puppet. And yet... On this puppet, they're very comical. They give him a lot, a lot of character. So you can actually just make your eyes out, out of craft foam 
cut your circle or your shape, cut your pupil. You can use your punch for that. <clears throat> Put the eyelid on. These are half circle eyelids. So you can do that. Now these, whoa, those are solid. I have several different sizes. Okay, and those were actually cast. What I did was I made a mold. Here's the mold. And you use, it's called Oom. Let me see if I can get, get a good picture of Oom for you here. Okay. And you mix the Oom up. And what I did was I took mixing spoons. These are mixing spoons right here. I cut the handles off the mixing spoons. I laid them in a box. I poured the Oom over top. And I got several different sizes from the di several different mixing spoons. That idea actually came from Adam Kutinger. So I my Adam Kutinger's idea and it works out really good. I pour the oom over the um, measuring spoons and it sets overnight and I get this mold. You can kind of tell where things slid around in the box, but I still got nice molds and I can pour those. Okay, the eyes themselves are actually made of liquid plastic so the same people that make the oom, okay, it's smooth on liquid plastic. So you can get that actually on Amazon. You can get the oom on Amazon. And you can make, the only thing I don't like, so you can make these. The only thing I don't like about these is they're very, very heavy. They're very heavy, but they're really a nice, round, perfect eye. They're not too deep. They're not too thick. So they're not going to come out a whole lot like a half a ping pong ball might. And again, you can cut out your little pupils, put your little pupils on them like that, okay? Just stamp out little pupils like that. Those aren't the same size, but neither are the eyes. So that's another way you can make eyes for your puppet. Lots of different ways, lots of different things. Use some imagination. Uh, check the teddy bear supply companies for making teddy bear parts. You can get a lot of good eyes like that. You know, these plastic eyes or doll eyes. Um, as I said, you can cut your own. You can use half a ping pong ball. You can use a whole ping pong ball. I have spoons. Okay, this guy's eyes here. As I mentioned before, his eyes are made of some half a ping pong ball. Now, this is half a ping pong ball. This is half the styrofoam ball. You can do that. So you can be very creative, very imaginative with your eyes. Uh, you can take these little plastic bear eyes and you can put those in without a pupil, without the pupil around, without the, they are the pupil, without the white around them. You can stick those right in there. Um, <clears throat> they also make these are just a solid black, little black with a stem and you can put those in. So you have a little black pupil and you can put that on a spoon or put it on felt or just put it directly on the fleece, depending upon the character you're trying to create. So I just want to show you several different ways that eye puppets, uh, puppet eyes can kind of be made, the ways they look like. Just something for your imagination. You'll find a lot of videos and, on how to make different eyes. But I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you'll hit that like button. That helps me. I hope you hit that subscribe button. That helps all of us. Thank you for your time. You have a great day.